Right, good morning class. God bless you. Welcome to step three of um, salaries journal, which involves general ledger accounts for salaries. It seems very complicated, but I want to go directly into it and teach you on, uh, on how to post to the ledger accounts. Now, you are going to record from the salaries journal and the CPJ, cash payments journal. So there are steps. There's three steps of how to do it. Follow it, listen, and I'm sure you won't have a problem. So you're going to start with the salaries journal. Enter on the credit side the deductions and contributions of a general ledger item in the balance sheet section. Now, there are two sections of the balance sheet you're going to do. Is First, you're going to do the balance sheet items, which is the liabilities. And then the second one is the nominal account, which has all the expenses. It sounds a bit confusing but you're going to get a hang of it as I teach this now. So I've already done the ledger, but I'm going to show you how I got all of the answers and you follow the same step when you are doing the ledger accounts for your activities. All right. When I say general ledger item, I'm talking about the items that they put, the, they, they, they wrote on each ledger item for, for example, um, like now, remember, you cannot do the ledger without having done the salaries journal. I already did a video on the salaries journal. I've done a video on the cash payments journal. And now step three is posting to the ledger. So they are asking us to do the ledger accounts um, uh, for, um, and if I've got it here, pension fund. This is the general ledger item, pension fund. Medical aid fund is a general ledger item. So for each item, we're going to look in the journal. So you start off by looking at the deductions and the contributions for pension fund and go and enter on the credit side of that general ledger item. So now we're going to do that this step for each item that they gave us. Now, there's the items here. They're asking us to do pension fund. Medical Aid, SARS UIF, SARS Skills Development Fund, SARS PAYE, and creditors for salaries. So we're going to go and look in deductions and contributions for those items and enter it on the credit side. Why credit side? I said to you, all of these are balance sheet items. They are liabilities. Pension Fund, Medical Aid, SARS UIF, SARS Skills Development Levy, PAYE, and creditors for salaries are all liabilities. They balance sheet. You and I know Daxilo, we credit liabilities. Yes or no? Yes, we do. We credit liabilities. Why is it a liability? It's because I mentioned to you in the CPJ um, uh, recording that we owing these people money. We're owing them money. So we have to pay them. See this? What we're deducting from these guys? And what the employer is contributing, it has to be paid over to the pension fund, has to be paid over to the medical aid fund, has to be paid over to SARS. Because it has to be paid over, it is a liability we are owing. So that's why it's a liability. It's on the credit side. Straightforward. I said to you, step one, you're going to look in um, uh, for deductions and contributions of that item and enter on the credit side. So I'm going to practice what I teach. I'm going to go there and I'm doing pension fund. So you notice the answers are already done, right? But I haven't done step three as yet for you. So you're going to start off step one. So I'm going to go to deductions, pension. Haha. -ha. There you take the total. Remember when you're doing journal, a uh, general ledger, I said step two. There's no opening balances here, so it's going to step to look into the journals for pension fund. Aha, there's a 2065. Whenever you're entering from deductions, write salaries. There we go. Salaries, salaries journal SJ2065. Then you go to contribution. Is there pension fund? Yes, pension fund is there. Below that, you can put dot on the date and you type pension contribution pension fund contribution sj because it's coming from contribution and that same amount 2065 there we go and then you can total it done the account is not fully completed yet but we're doing step one then i go to mm medical aid fund 
then I'm, I'm going to go to deductions. Do I have? Yes, 5790. There we go. Salaries, 5790. Is there medical aid in contributions? Yes, 27. Medical aid fund contribution. Salaries journal, 27 total. Then the next general ledger item is SARS UIF. I'm going to go to deductions. SARS UIF, 413. I write salaries whenever it's from deduction salaries SJ413. I go to contributions UIF ha ha 413 and then I go down to and I write you can't write unemployment fund contribution. It takes it's quite a long one. You can say UIF contribution SJ413 total. Then they ask me to do SDL skills development levy or skills development fund. Um and I look there is nothing in deductions, but it is in contributions. So I go down and I write skills development contribution because we're taking it from contributions. 413. This one could have also been total as well. 413. All right. 413. All right. All right. So wonderful. 413. And then uh, SARS PAYE. And I go up here in deductions. Aha, PAYE 14, 1 to 4.6. There's nothing in employer's contribution. And there's a chart. salaries because it's from deductions. SJ 14, 1 to 4.6. You can even type that 14, 1 to 4, 6.0. All right. And then there's got creditors for salaries. Now listen carefully. Creditors for salaries is always the net salary. It's creditors for salaries because what they're saying is we are owing the staff now these salaries. We need to create it or call it a liability. So it is it is always your and I'm going to write it here for you um, so that, you know, it's easier for you to remember. It is your net salary. So you go to the net salary total and there's net salary 18907.4 and there we go uh let me see i've got 18857.4 and net salary i need to change that to 18907.4 it should be 18907.4 right you've got to have the right amount 18907.4 right now i've just done step one you need to when you're doing your activities you'll do it all your balance sheet accounts first enter everything from on the credit side from deductions and employees contributions and you do that there now we're going to go to step two so step two says enter on the debit side the contributions from salaries journal for a general ledger item now Enter on the debit side. We should have this here um, of the nominal accounts of the nominal accounts. So nominal accounts is the second section of the balance sheet. I come down. There's my nominal. These are all the expenses. Why is it an expense? Is because whatever the employer contributes in his books, it's an expense. It's an expense to him. This is very straightforward. So there's a general ledger item salaries. There's a general ledger item pension fund. There's a general ledger item medical aid fund. There's a general ledger item UIF skills development levy. And that's it. So what it means is everywhere in console. Remember I said enter on the debit side. The contributions from the salaries journal only contributions. For a general ledger item of the nominal account they gave you the general ledger items of the nominal accounts there's it it's given you when we when if this activity was blank it would just had salaries pension funds so you're gonna look now and go to contributions and you enter now guys be careful the salaries here is your gross salary it's gross um, salary right gross salary so this is straightforward um, step two on the debit side of the nominal accounts you go and write um, February 28th Sunday always the last day of the month and salaries journal 
and you go to the salaries journals and you take see this gross gross and that 41,300 gross and you enter it on the debit side it's an expense to the business now um, we'll just go to the contributions as I mentioned you go to contributions quickly and you enter each of these contributions on the debit side of the respective account so if I look at um, pension fund you write Feb 28 AA pension fund the name of the pension fund salaries journal 2065 there we go then basically guys can I just tell you what's happening is you taking everything from here on the debit a uh, credit side and you're putting it on the debit side here that's exactly what's happening so medical aid fund you go to contributions and there's the 2700 on the debit side and you put mm medical aid fund 2700 next one is uif debit side you go to contributions there's the uif 413 and you can just write there um uif 413 and then the next contribution the last one skills development levy and there we go skills development levy and 413 step two done now step three and i'm going to do that quite, very quickly my time is running out so enter from the cpj you must enter bank on the debit side of each general ledger item of the balance sheet section so we're going back to the balance sheet now what's happening is we're recording the payment of those liabilities whatever we were owing we're now going to record the payments so the balance sheet is the first one that we did in step one we're going to on the debit side going to enter the payment so we're going to say feb 28 and we're going to put bank and we're going to write cpj and we're going to enter the amounts from the cpj so i'm going to do that for all the balance sheet items so it makes our learning quicker and faster so you go and enter on the debit side of the balance sheet items bank that's why we are entering from the cpj all right so quite straightforward um all you're doing guys is it's so easy you're entering this very same amount here there and that's it it's done so but anyway a pension fund we go to the cpj 4130 that's it there 4130 and then 4130 and mm medical aid fund is there 8490 same amount 8490 and then 8490 uh, SARS UIF you go into the CPJ and this should have been 826 because we put it it's supposed to be separately um, and then 413 and then 1424.60 so as UIF 826, 826, 826, and SARS SDL CPJ 413, and there we go, 413, and then um, there we go, 413, SARS PAYE 14124.6, 14, 14124.6, all right, 14. 124.60 and then creditors for salaries is you go to the CPJ whatever is in the CPJ you go and enter it on the debit side of those balance sheet items and um, creditors for, see there there's, a, there's your clue or for all of these accounts you're going to enter it on the debit side because now we're paying 18907.40 this was 14 one two four point six zero and then eighteen nine zero seven point four zero so these were the liabilities and at the end of the month we paid and now the account is zero so that's how you enter um in the general ledger accounts and i'm sure and i hope that this was a blessing to you and uh, i now believe that you can go and apply yourself and understand your work and i pray that god bless you and i love you guys until we meet again thank you